take it or leave it. I, I, I want some gone. They were optimistic. They're putting out of the deal. Wow. Great ball into Lavia. Chips it over the goalkeeper. That's 3-2. And off the bat, we have not been able to touch this ball. Mamush. Jesus Christ. Okay, five minutes in. Is this where we crumble? Is this where our season starts spiraling downwards? Oh my goodness me. Hey, my dudes, how you doing? I hope you're having a smashing goddamn day. Welcome back to the Brom Squad channel. And welcome back to the Shelka career mode. Now, it is the 1st of January, 2026. That does mean that the January window is open. Now, we are about to embark on a transformative transfer window. So, I have put a few players on the shortlist, and I will share them with you shortly. As you'll see right here, we have got around 14 million euros to spend in the January window, which, if we're trying to do what I want to do, that's not enough money. Meaning, we have to sell some very special players in order to generate those funds. Now, if we take a look at the squad, right? The squad is fantastic. At the moment, it's amazing, but it's not good enough for what we're trying to do. Of course, we're in the lead. In the Bundesliga, we've done fantastically well, but there are certain players that I think need to move on, and that is the captain, Thomas Oyen. He's been with us from the get-go. He's been with us from the beginning, and he's grown to a 78 overall. But I do think it's time to move on. Also, the fact that he is, and he has left Schalke 04 in real life, does want me to go ahead and make this move. But we do have a few potential replacements lined up to replace the club captain or the former club captain of course now a man that we signed i can't remember if it was for free or, or if it may have been for a cut price i can't really remember but timothy fosu mentor timbo you have been nothing short of splendid sensational 79 overall 27 years of age i do think we will be able to get a fair fee for the center back that can play as a right wing back and even as a right midfielder so I do think it's time to move on from him. And the final player on the transfer list is Jordan Larson. Now, of course, replacing him depends on the amount that we get. There are a few other positions that I am trying to focus on in bringing in better players. So I do have faith in the squad as a whole, the likes of Stash, the likes of Norhays, and of course, this man right here in Wilson Odebear. But Larson does need to go. He's 28. We might be able to get a pretty fee for him. And I'm hoping we can. Okay, so as you'll see here, this is the transfer list. Now, we have lost a goalkeeper, Sergio Rico, going to Valencia. So this is the man that I have selected to replace him. He can be, you know, bought in for around 3 to 4 million, which is a great price for a 76 overall goalkeeper. That's fantastic. Now, to replace Timbo, we would go and get Daniel, which I have spoken about before. And the replacement for Obian could be either Vinagre or Middlestrad. I am waiting for the scouting reports to come back for either. And we will make our final decision then. Although I am more so leaning towards Maximilian Middlestrad. I don't know why, but I just think he's in the prime of his career. He is German and he could definitely, 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 definitely suit our left side. Now, for these two players, Bajrami as well as Bar, I can get either or. It really does depend on what you know area we're trying to target because if we sell Larson we can you know change either the likes of Anton Stash or Norhays into an attacking midfielder to either replace or back up the likes of Wilson that means that we would be leaving our defensive area of the field short in, in the midfield zones meaning I would go and get Bar or we leave it as is we sell Larson and we just bring in Bajrami that could be an option but these two players are not really the 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 focus of the January window as of yet. It's mainly the left back, the center back, and of course the goalkeeper. And in terms of the striker, now I have had issues with stamina um, with the likes of, what is his name, Armando Broja. So Broja does have a lot of stamina issues. So I was thinking, you guys can let me know down below because we won't make this decision until the end of the season. But we see out the loan of Broja. We don't pay the 29 million euros for him. And we go and get Victor Jokeresh. Now, he has just moved to Fulham in the, the summer window, which means that he, we will only really be able to approach and get him in the next window, which is perfect timing for us, really. He's an 82 overall. He is in the prime of his career at 27, and he is also press resistant. Now, having him paired up with uh, Elbel El Torre, uh, Bielek, or maybe even a Vilkilmsen could work incredibly, incredibly well. But we would have to see how things go. So if you guys can let me know down below, I would really appreciate it and if you don't that's fine too i'll just make 
an executive decision on my own. Now, a while back, one of you guys commented, why don't you go and get Emil Hoyland, the younger brother of um, Rasmus Hoyland. So, of course, he has moved to Schalke in real life, and it could be a great signing to go and make. And, of course, he can play as a striker or as an attacking midfielder. He is also six foot one, so he does fit the profile of striker that we are looking for. So he could also be an option in the January window. Okay, we have got our first offer for OEN, and it is from Benfica. We are going to delegate the, the task. 16 million does seem fair. We are trying to raise as much money as possible. Larson's release clause gets met. 7.9 million euros. I will take that. I was not expecting to get anywhere near that, to be fair. And I think we paid, what was it, like 3 or 4 million for him. So we are making a decent profit from the potential sale of Jordan Larson, which again, I'm okay to let him leave. But now we've got an, uh, an option here, a loan with an option to buy for Lasse Gunther. He is not going anywhere. We need him in the team to, to at least try and start a few games whilst Arian is getting his move away and potentially replacing him with another player. Okay, West Ham have also triggered <laughs> the Larson release clause. That is... Okay, well, you know what? Fair play. Cool, 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 and cool. And Benfica have come back with still 12 and a half million. We are going to negotiate with them and try and pump that price up a little bit more. Okay, well, Benfica want the man. That's fine. They have been known to sign some really talented German players. They've just signed Bester from Heidenheim. Of course, I know I've just realized Thomas Owian is Dutch, but they have been known to sign players from the Bundesliga. Can we maybe get 14 million? Come on, come on. But they've recently signed Bester, which I thought was a crazy signing. They've, they've in the past, have signed players like Julian Draxler. They're determined to, to pay 12 and a half million. Can we, can we maybe do 13? 13.5, come on, take it or leave it. I, I, I want some gone. They were optimistic, they're putting out of the deal. Wow. Okay, RB Leipzig have come in for Timothy Fosumensa. We are going to delegate this as well. 25 million seems like a lot. I'm going to say 23 million with 17 and a half being the lowest we'll accept. Now, of course, I think this is instant profit as we didn't pay that much for him, or we could have signed him for free. I can't really remember, but it's going to be gut-wrenching to let him go, but we do need the money, so... And there we go, Larson is out the door. He has scored some memorable goals for us in the career mode. Even this season, he, he, was, he made an instant impact off the bench every time he was called upon. So wherever you are going, mate, I hope it's a good one. And that is West Ham. Wow. Okay, West Ham have got themselves a really talented attacking midfielder. And we get... A pro oh, we get an A on the deal. That's That just shows you that even though they triggered the release clause, it was still a very good price. I mean, his market value was 7.5 million. That's not bad whatsoever. And as you can also see, we've got some good squad depth for that position. Okay, so we've got multiple offers here for OEN from a Premier League club, but also Stuttgart. Now, I might be more inclined to sell him to Stuttgart so we can go and get Middlestadt for a much better price. We've also got a counter offer here for Timbo. Okay, we are going to negotiate and hopefully pump it up to 20. We want 23, though. That, that's the optimum price. Into negotiations. Come on, we, we have to try. We have to try. Now, they have rejected 22, oh, 23 million, so maybe going in with 22 could be advisable. They accept it. Maybe we could have gotten 23. I don't know. Did, did he just, did he get scared? He saw, he saw my face. He's like, oh no. Now in terms of OEN, I do want him gone ASAP. So I am going to jump into negotiations with Stuttgart to get this deal done. We have to, we must. He's got a valuation of 12 and a half million. Can we get, can we get 15 and a half, please? I don't know. He's, he's not in the final year of his contract, if I'm not mistaken. 12 and a half. They, they are dead set on 12 and a half. But you know what? Because we will be targeting potentially one of their players, I'm okay with accepting 12 and a half million for him because we might be paying just over that for middle stats who can come in and produce a similar level maybe even a slightly better level and that also means for the palace transfer proposal we are going to try and uh, get a bit bit of money here in case you know the the move for stuttgart falls through we might be able to secure a bit more from the Premier League side, really. This this is 1,000% a no-go, but they are offering Ryan Cherokee, an 80 overall player with a valuation of 31 million for Wilson Odebear, who is slightly younger, one year younger. I am going to outright reject that. He is going nowhere. And there you go. There you have it. 
This is a gut wrencher, but he is going to almost a, a direct rival in RB Leipzig. Yeah, oh, it is RB Leipzig. He is going there. He will perform at an optimum an optimum level for them. For the deal, we get 22 million euros. We have made some decent money so far in the window. And we get an A on the deal. That is instant profit for us. Let's not forget that. That is... We, if we did pay a fee, it was a small fee. And we've made our fee back tenfold. Um, the best possible deal that we could have gotten was just under 24 million euros. Okay, not too bad. But as you can see there, it said... The, or it says the squad lacks quality. Hmm. Improving that quality is a must. And the final sale of the January window. Let's not forget, we have to sell to buy is the club captain Arian. He will go and have a fantastic career with Stuttgart still in the Bundesliga. But again, in real life, he's leaving for free. His contract's done. And I just thought it might make sense to get rid of him in FC24. For this career mode he's gone now to stuttgart for 12 and a half million we better get like an a on this deal because there is no way in hell that we were going to try and get anything more than that because no club is willing to pay over the, the price for him so 12 and a half million was the best possible deal and we ended up getting that not too bad not too shabby but now it's time to bring in some new faces to the club starting off with the goalkeeper now we have around 47 million euros to spend which is a hell of a lot we are going to try and save as many pennies as possible so we're going in with a three million offer off the bat except that they want four and a half million or no sorry not four and a half million just over four million we're going to counter it with three and a half million if i can you know use my fingers correctly here three and a half million that's a fair deal they accept it we've got ourselves a fantastic backup goalkeeper from the portuguese league now the next player that is a must is danny look now i do know and i realize he is a 76 overall and timbo was a 79 he was slightly better but we are also in the europa league so losing some quality is a must but i will say this danny look is younger he's got a high potential and he could definitely grow into that right center back role now they want around nine million we're going to go in with an offer of eight off the bat Take it or leave it. Okay, they want 13 and or 13.6. That is not going to happen. That is definitely not going to happen. Now, I will give you a fantastic offer of 10 million. What? They want 13.6. Still, they are dead set on their their amount here. I'll give you I'll give you 12 million. That that's a good price. They've gone down a little bit to 13.2. If we renegotiate, it's only going to stall the deal. I mean, we did get 22 or 22 million for Timothy Fosomento. So his backup coming in for 13.2 isn't that bad of a, a price or a deal, to be fair. There we go. We've accepted it. 13.2 million to join the Valtons Arena and Schalke 04. Okay, now this, this deal here is probably one of the most important ones. Now he's got a market value of 9.5, which is significantly less than OEN who had a market value of 12 and a half. So we're going to go in with a transfer offer of eight. They want 11.7 with 5% salon. You can get rid of the salon clause. That's not going to happen. We'll go in with an offer of nine. Make it happen. They want 9.7. You see, just like that, we are, we are chipping away at what they really want. They could have gotten like 3 million more. Jeez. Okay, market value straight up. We've paid it. They've accepted it. We've got ourselves a fantastic left back coming through the door. So we have gone and replaced some of the players that we've lost. Danny Lock has come in. He will wear number 28. The likes of Middlestad has come in and he's going to wear number 27. And then finally, the goalkeeper will wear number 30. Varela, the backup goalkeeper. Now, of course, the numbers are going to be changed next season. But for the time being, because the players that we have sold were registered with those specific squad numbers, you aren't really allowed to 
replace those players and then use the same squad numbers in the, the, the Europa League and stuff like that. So that's why I've selected alternative numbers for them for the time being. But I do think that each and every one of these new players will definitely be able to contribute to the success of this season. Okay, and for the time being, with the new additions made to the roster, they will all be on the bench for the time being, just while they assimilate to their new surroundings and their new teammates. And also, because we have sold the club captain, are we? And we had to elect a new one. Now, of course, Timbo was the vice captain and he was sold as well. So we've lost a lot of leadership in our team, but that means that there's room for other players to step up. And I have elected our Mel Bella Kotchap to be the new club captain for the foreseeable future. Okay, people, kicking things off here versus Darmstadt. There will only be two games in this episode because of all the transfer wheelings and dealings that we've been a part of for the first bit of this episode, at least. But Darmstadt will prove to be a tough test for the new captain in our Mel Bella Kotchap. I need him to step up tenfold and immediately Wilson Odebear, he's won the ball back. He's got the ball into the possession of Romeo Lavia. Oh, great turn. Great touch. Out of his feet, out of the possession of the striker. I've just clapped my hand on the desk. God damn it. But Broja, he's heard rumors that Schalke are not interested in signing him on a permanent deal. So maybe that might encourage him to step up. Because honestly, it is up in the air right now. Do we sign him on a permanent basis? And that really does depend on how well he can impact the team you know, as that starting striker or as a striker off the bench. When called upon, can he be the difference maker? Great tackle from Oscar Wilhelmsen. Brilliant tackle, actually. Lays it off into Amanda Broja, who puts it back into the path of Stash. There we go. Gunther, he has made a run. He's continued his run nicely. Can he get around the man? Squares it. Not in time, though. Just run out of play, unfortunately. 12 minutes gone by. 1-0 to the good. Wilhelmsen. He's connected nicely, and he's put the ball into the back of the net. He is going to celebrate versus Darmstadt. He doesn't care. He's shown full allegiance to the boys in blue, Schalke 04. Good ball over the top there into Oscar Wilhelmsen. Takes a great touch. Gets around his man. Squares it back into the path of Anton Stasch. And the goalkeeper goes on to make an incredible double-handed save. Pushing the ball out for a corner kick. Near post flick on effort, not good enough. And Kabak will be the main starter, by the way. Of course, Dunnerluck is going to come in and, and be a replacement, but Kabak will be the main starter. And that was a reason why I was okay with selling a player like Timber, because yes, he's really good. Yes, he's fantastic. He's got all these great characteristics, but Kabak also has those great characteristics. So I have a lot of faith in a player that we signed in the beginning of the season, re-signed for the club. So I do think that he might be able to really fill the void that Timothy Fosumenta has left. Oh, that is... <laughs> that is disgusting. That is absolutely atrocious. That, that is beautiful. That's what that is. Great setup from Armando Broja. Lays it off beautifully, and he just puts it between the goalkeeper's legs. That is outstanding. Again, Darmstadt looking to try and get back in this game with potentially a goal or so. Can't get it done, can't get past, and it is in the possession of Stasha. We'll look to lay it further forward here. Into Amanda Broja, who has run onto it. Quite nice, quite nice. Holds off his man and puts the ball in the back of the net. It is 4-0 at the break. Well done. That's a, that's a great tackle from Lavia. What do you mean? They've given, a, they've, they've given them a free kick. Hornby set to take a free kick. Nuremberger though, he could be he could be lining one up. Oh my goodness, and Hornby has blazed it over the crossbar. Okay, they are suggesting Sulemana on for Odebe. I'm not going to make that sub just yet. And Paco is another one that needs to step it up. If if we are really going to rely on, on this backline area, we need our players like Paco to, to definitely do a better job. Bill Hilmson lays it off into the path of Star. She takes a great touch and just slots it past. The goalkeeper it is 5-0 we are going to make a few changes now just before the hour um Oda Bear, Broja and Wilhelmsen are looking somewhat tired okay well that means it's perfect timing to bring on these players Bielek on for Wilhelmsen, El Bilal Torre on and we are going to hand a debut to Middlestadt on for Gunther and Daniluk on for Kabak who has been very good so He's not being subbed because he's been bad, 
but he's been subbed for rotational reasons. El Bilal Torre, he's made a run, peeling off the back line. He is looking for a pass inside. He does find a square. Oh, and I like that Norhaze was aggressive to try and get into that attacking zone himself. Good ball. Good ball. Great ball, actually. Squares it. Cut back. Thank you very much. And I think that is Bielek, and it is six. We have absolutely smashed the slot. Here we go. Norhaze is on the ball. He has found a great pass down the left channel into Middle Shadow, who has put in a great ball. That could have been splendid. That could have been sensational. Where's my runner onto that ball? Here we go. El Bilal Torre. He's in on goal. Can he beat his man? He does get around him. And he does slot at home for seven on the day. That is the game. And on to the next one. Okay. On to Frankfurt. And of course, it's still an away game. We've played back-to-back -back away games. And Frankfurt have got some amazing quality in their side. They've also got a Larson. We had one. We sold him. And off the bat, we have not been able to touch this ball. Mamush. Jesus Christ. Okay, five minutes in. Not touching the ball once. Mamush sending Belakotchap to the shops. And he scored the goal. We're down 1-0 off the bats. And I've just been saying, if we're not careful, this could happen. A man that used to play for Frankfurt is now playing for us. So that that, that is a little storyline to follow. Oh, Mel Belakotchap. I was trying to engage with the man. I was trying to block the shot. They do a little back heel and it is... It is 2-0. It is 2-0 to, to Frankfurt. Okay. Is this where we crumble? Is this where our season starts spiraling downwards? Oh my goodness me. William Paco. He's, he's, tra he's tracking his man. Mamusha scored two goals versus us. Lavia doing some, some really good defending. Maybe we should have started Suleimana. That is, that is absolutely unacceptable. That is is unacceptable. We are 3-0 down inside 40 minutes and we are making subs. That defending was... piss me off. That's what that, that defending did. So, Stash is getting moved up. Suleimana is checking into the game. Middlestrat will come in for Gunther. And I haven't been impressed. This is the only issue with, with Brojo when he's always not fully match sharp. He just... He just irritates me, man. We might have to. We might have to just... Lo keep him on loan for the season and then replace him in the, in the summer window. But we are 3-0 down and it's still five minutes to go in the first half. This is flashbacks to the last episode where we lost to AC Milan. That's what this is. Straight down the line, Mamush has had an absolute field day. An absolute field day. He's, he's run the ball out. <laughs> okay, building it out from the back. Come on, come on boys, please. There we go. Oscar Wilhelmsen, he is looking to run in behind you. He does get a great touch out of his feet, out of his possession, and into the back of the net. 65 minutes gone by. We're still losing, but it's 3-1. Into Bielek. Bielek takes a shot, and it is blocked away. 75 minutes. If we can score this, we're in the driver's seat, people. We are in the dr Oh, my God. Their defense on corners is just outstanding. Ours is not so much, you know. Great ball into Lavia. Chips it over the goalkeeper. That's 3 2. El Bilal Torre. Lavia combining beautifully. It's 3 2. We're back in this one. Oh my God. Imagine the choke on this team in the second half. Good ball into Aiden. He has remained on side. Provides a great cutback. Oh my goodness me. Can you imagine the bottle on this slot? It's. We were 3-0 down. We're back in it with a, th a third goal and possibly a fourth. Possibly. Oscar Wilhelmsen got the first and he's got the third. Can he get a hat-trick? Imagine. Imagine the scenes. Bielek wants to come on. You know what? We are going to make that sub. That is a good sub to make. Just the bottle on the slots. The cutback was splendid. The, the keeper really makes a good attempt at trying to save the ball. But unfortunately, too little, too late. Imagine the scenes. Middlestrat has made a fantastic run down the wider left space. He's in here. He is in. He provides a great cutback chance, but somehow he gets bullied off the ball. Oh my god, it could have been 4-3. Just like that. It is what it is. Mamush with a fantastic first half hat trick. It is what it is. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. Please don't forget to smash the like button. And I'll see you tomorrow with episode well, with whatever the next episode number is for the Shulker career mode. Peace.